This video will help you to determine whether physical education at VC level is for you. If you choose to study this sequence, you will explore concepts such as anatomy, biomechanics, physiology, and skill learning principles, and understand their role in producing and refining movement. You'll also investigate a range of different influences on participation and performance in physical activity. Students will participate in a combination of physical, written, oral, and digital learning experiences. This is certainly not just playing sport. However, there is some scope for learning th through performing physical activity and sport. VCE physical education is made up of four units. Typically, units one and two take place in year 11, and units three and four take place in year 12. However, there is the opportunity for some year 10 students to complete acceleration and complete units one and two in year 10. It is not a prerequisite that you study units one and two before completing units three and four. Unit 1, Area of Study 1, investigates how the musculoskeletal system works to produce movement. The key topics include the structure and function of the skeletal and muscular systems, how muscles contract, causes and prevention of musculoskeletal injuries, and how performance enhancing substances can be used to improve the function of the musculoskeletal system. In Unit 1, Area of Study 2, we look at how the cardiorespiratory system functions at rest and during physical activity, which includes its structure and function, how it manages body temperature, regulates blood flow, and also transports oxygen, and the benefits, harms, and ethical considerations of performance-enhancing substances and methods. In Unit 2, the focus switches to physical activity participation in society. And in Area of Study 1, we investigate what the relationships are between physical activity, sport, health, and our society. This includes concepts of physical activity, inactivity, and sedentary behavior, and how we can measure these, the benefits of regular, regular participation in physical activity, and the health risks associated with being physically inactive, the physical activity and sedentary behavior guidelines, and also investigating a range of physical activity promotion and sedentary behavior reduction initiatives and strategies. In Unit 2, Area of Study 2, students will investigate what the contemporary issues are associated with physical activity and sport. The main topics include looking at different models that evaluate and promote physical activity behavior, different influences on participation in physical activity and sport, and then students will begin to use strategies to promote participation in physical activity and sport. Unit 3 PE has two fairly different topics. First of all, we look at how movement skills are improved. And this includes from a biomechanical perspective, looking at different coaching strategies, including direct and constraints based approaches, practice strategies to improve movement skills, and feedback. The second topic in Unit 3 is how the body produces and uses energy. And we look at different types of fuels that are used at rest and during physical activity, the characteristics of the three energy systems, how the body uptakes and uses oxygen, and the acute responses to exercise in the different body systems. In Unit 4, students will develop the skills to be able to design their own training program to improve performance. So Area of Study 1 is all about what the foundations of an effective training program are, and these include being able to perform an activity analysis, look at the different components of fitness, and also assess fitness. In Area of Study 2, students will investigate how training can be implemented effectively to improve fitness. This includes monitoring and recording training, ensuring that training principles and training methods are being adhered to and implemented correctly, looking at strategies for recovery to enhance performance, 
and also investigating how the body adapts to training. Should you have any further questions or would like to know any more information, please don't hesitate to contact the careers team. You can also go to this link, which will take you to a more detailed version of the study design, or you're welcome to speak to Mr. Christensen, who is the health and PE domain leader.